So here's the thing. You re- we had the Ron Paul revolution. What what did it accomplish? I mean, a student students Podcasts. for Ron Paul became Young Americans for Liberty, who did some great work and eventually got taken over by leftists. What's going to happen now? Okay, you're say you do have uh, you know oh an, another million people in two, in 2024 join libertarianism. They don't control the they don't control the press. They don't control the academy. They don't control big tech. What happens? The same exact thing. It's just it doesn't go. You have more people reading books. It doesn't stop the mar- it. It doesn't stop the Great Reset, whatever anybody wants to think that is. It doesn't stop the World Economic Forum. It doesn't stop um, the Trilateral Commission. It doesn't stop what seemingly is like. It seems like business and, and corporate interests in this con- in this country have just basically taken over. So you really can't talk about them because it's a private company, bro. Um, how does a Ron Paul revolution at this point solve anything when you don't ha- when you can't communicate that to children? When there is no effective, um, oh, well, everybody just homeschool. Not everybody's going to homeschool. OK, if you can get if you got 10 percent of the people in this country homeschooling, you could probably start a revolution. But it's going to be more like one or two percent. And the rest of those 98 percent are sending their kids to government woke Prussian camp. schools, woke camp. They're going to come out as nice little progressive soldiers. You're raising a kid who is probably going to maybe be an entrepreneur or something, but is going to have a zero time preference for power. And the other 98% of those kids ha- come out having a high time preference for power, want to get involved because they've they're basically been they've become evangelicals for this religion that they're not willing to die for. 